Al Shane Simmons coming at you, giving you a little bit of a look at Jefferson City, Tennessee, which is known by the locals as Jeff City. And I do want to thank, before we get into the video, I want to thank all the sponsors, the patrons to, for all your support. And if you're on the fence thinking maybe you'd like to support this channel, now would be a really good time because I'm just about to upgrade um, this little hose I've been using to siphon gas out. And really, I need something bigger and better than this. If I'm going to steal gas off my neighbors, I really need something that this thing's taken me about 15 or 20 minutes to get a gallon. So I'm really looking to upgrade this. So if you ever thought about that, now would be a great time to support. And I'll, I'll give you the links to do that in the description of the video. Without further ado, let's get to Jeff City, Tennessee. Thanks. Shane Simmons, the Appalachian Project. I'm not real sure why I'm focused in on Steve Amos being your banker, but he's getting a free ad whether he likes it or not. Anyway, I am in Jefferson city tennessee and jefferson city is in jefferson county and believe it or not i've never set foot in this town before so we're getting a little bit of a experience with me so jefferson city has a population of about 8500 and that seems to be a real good sweet spot for having a pretty diverse economy and having quite a few things going on you'll see let's pop over this ridge here starts to get a little bit more of a retail focus you see quite a few strip mall type stuff fast food chains that kind of thing jefferson city is most frequently called jeff city to local residents from what i understand from the people i know that from the area Jefferson City, like I said, was in Jefferson County, which along with Dandridge, and uh, it seems to have a pretty pretty high Hispanic population. I know uh, Hamblin County, which is pretty close to here, is, uh, has it as well. There's a lot of farming that goes on here, that type of thing, probably is part of the reason driving that. Town's really well laid out as far as it's just a straight shot. You go right through it. We'll see here in a second once we actually get into the main part of the retail center. So Jefferson City was originally called Mossy Creek, and I have already seen several references to that name here. So it, I think it was 1901, if my math is correct. They changed it to Jefferson City, and of course that's to honor Thomas Jefferson, which is no surprise. It's about, I want to say, somewhere around in the vicinity of half an hour outside of Knoxville. It's east of Knoxville. And you start to see these cities start, and the towns pop up. The closer and closer you get to Knoxville on this side, you, there's the Dandridge, you, you've got Jefferson City, you've got, uh, of course, Morristown. Strawberry Plains, which I'll probably be visiting here pretty soon. There's about I've run into a lot of traffic coming down here, and it's kind of odd because it's not exactly just off the interstate. And it's a little bit of a drive down into here, which is why I've never been here before. I guess I had no real business to be down here, and it's it's not uh, so close that you can just drift right in. It takes a little bit of time. I said a little earlier, there is quite a bit of farming that goes on through here. It's not all that far down the road from Bulls Gap that I've been to before as well.
I guess Tar Chevrolet will get a free ad as well. So they feel guilty they can just forward me a hat. I'll wear it prominently. As you can see, most of this is your typical retail stores that you see in almost any bustling little town like this or city. Jefferson City is also home to Carson Newman University, which is pretty well known and well respected in the area. The long history of the athletic program. And speaking of athletics, I was surprised to, I was looking at people from this area and I saw the name Phil Garner, who used to play for the Houston Astros. I remember playing, watching him play when I was a child, so that's kind of cool to know. I had no idea he was from here before now. Good old food city. So, very prominent regional grocery store chain in this area too. It's pretty typical small town, small city type of place. There's Domino's, McDonald's, gas station, New Verizon, everything you'd expect to see in a, in a bustling little town. I'm kind of lost, obviously, since I've not been here before. So I'm not real sure where Carson Newman University is. I don't think we'll run into it on this video. I didn't see it on the way in that I know of, but. There we go again. We see Mossy Creek Wine and Spirits right there. So that Mossy Creek name is still has some affection in this area. This is the straightest road I've driven on in a long, long time. say it's close to Knoxville, but it's also super close to the Smoky Mountains when you're talking about Sevierville, Pigeon Forge, Gatlinburg, all that stuff is super close to that as well. I always know I'm getting close to that turnoff, that Sevierville exit, which is, I do believe, exit 407. You can see right there from the sign, it showed Knoxville is 27 miles. So we're out of that retail section for the most part it appears. As always, I hope you fill in the comments. People that are more know more about this town than I do learning a little bit more about the history of the people and the things that I missed pointing out. That way if I can get the opportunity to come back or if I'm watching the video again, I can see what I missed. And there's a Cherokee Dam is down here too. This is actually the turn off for it right here. Which of course would be named after the Cherokee Indians that are so prominent in this area. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, this is the sequel, Jefferson City Part 2. Should be going to the main, older, historic downtown part. The main street, that type of thing, very shortly. First video, if you watched it, was shows uh, a lot of the retail district. And this will be a little bit more historic. It's my suspicion. I actually haven't been down here yet, but we'll learn together. I take it this is part of Carson Newman is down in this area. This. I 
So we gotta head to the Maddox Student Activity Center. Well, I didn't intend to get Carson Newman uh, so much, but hey, what the heck, let's just drive down through here. You ever seen this campus before? Carson Newman University. a man try to bumble his way back into a main drive. Pretty little campus. Actually fortunate to get to check it out today. The music center. Or the back side of the campus here. If the old GPS can be trusted, we should be getting closer to the Main Street section of the older historic district. We need like an old barber shop. Hill, so the railroad section, some older buildings. U.S. Slate and Marble. That possibly was a school building at one time. Just guessing. A very uneducated opinion. More factory. More likely than the way it looks now.
standard banner in the Mother Carl's Home Center. Mossy Creek Fitness, yet another reference to that name. This city has moved around. If a lot of this is uh, this is obviously older, not quite as refurbished as some other towns would do. It's up in the city hall and all that kind of thing. Get to a different part of town. It's still historic, and I actually like this kind of thing better because you get to see a little bit more of what it really looked like a few years ago. Shane Simmons, an Appalachian project with the sequel to Jefferson City, Jeff City, if you will. This is more the old town section, old city, I should say. You can see a lot of older buildings in uh, that seem to have moved the primary parts of the city to another part of the to another part, and they haven't really spent too much time, energy, or effort on refurbishing these older buildings, which is kind of a shame. It's, it's neat and nostalgic in a way. You can kind of see what everything looked like back in the day. Uh, and these buildings are really close to the railroad, so. You see these little older buildings, kind of like what you'll see a lot in other parts of Appalachia. You see that gutted out building with just a bunch of bricks still there. And then we'll come up on the Mossy Creek Station Memorial, the train depot for Jefferson City. It's pretty cool to see this stuff. I'll make one little sweep down over here because I like the old historic stuff better than the new than just that kind of guy. Nostalgic dude. The Blank and West Lumber Company. In it. And this little building here looks like some sort of factory or maybe it was a school at one time. Hard to say. Somebody will know in the comments, hopefully. I'll uh, pretty much wrap this video up here in just a second. We've seen about as many sights and sounds as I can squeeze in for today. I'm getting on the road back to Nashville, but I thought I'd hit Jeff City before I hit Music City. Thanks for watching again, as always, guys. I really appreciate it more than you'll know. Love your comments. As long as you, I don't even care about the negative ones. You know, run a stop sign every now and then, that kind of thing. And as long as you don't use too much profanity for other people, I think it's kind of funny to see it. So, please enjoy. Send your comments, shares, likes, well wishes. I like this thing. This is a cool one to end Best garage. It's an old building. I like those old signs. Anyway, guys, I'll wrap it up from Jeff City and get on the road. Thanks again for watching.